Hello and welcome to Chill Loves Linux. Today I would like to start a new series of videos about music production in Linux with Ardour. Ardour is a digital audio workstation software and I think it is interesting to see if it is as good as proprietary software. Uh, I have been working with Cubase and I have been working with Logic. Both are proprietary and they are very, very good. But now I want to know if free and open source software is just as good. So let's see what we get. I thought it is best to start with Ubuntu Studio. Uh, why? Because uh, there are many applications pre-installed in Ubuntu Studio and there is a real-time kernel pre-installed in Ubuntu Studio and the developers of Ubuntu Studio care about artists and musicians. This is very good. What we can do with Ubuntu Studio, we can also do with any other distribution. But then you have to install the software you need by yourself. As you know, I am a passionate Debian user and so I will definitely check out if I can use Ardour and check the sound server uh, also with Debian. But for now I start with Ubuntu Studio because I want to see uh, the results as quick as possible. I'm using Ubuntu Studio 22.10. This is a short-term release. It's supported until July 2023. With this version of Ubuntu Studio, I have the latest software available for Ubuntu. As I said before, Ardour is pre-installed in Ubuntu Studio, but it's not the newest version. You can download the newest version here on the website of Ardour. You go to download and here you see get Ardour. You can choose if you want to download a ready to run program or the source code. If you download the source code, you will need to build Ardour by yourself. So if you know how to compile an application like Ardour. You can just download the source code and compile it. But if you want to have a ready to run program, a binary, you have to choose here if you want the Linux version, the Windows version or the Mac OS version. And here you can see you can download Ardour 7.2. And if you choose that, you have to subscribe and pay a monthly fee. So this is because then you get the newest version of Ardour as a binary and you pay for the service. I've heard some people say this is not free software because you have to pay here for the newest version. But free and open source software does not mean that it does not cost anything. Uh, the source code is open and if you compile it by yourself, you don't have to pay anything. You pay for the service and not for the software. If you want to use Ardour, you don't have to download uh, the newest version because older versions are in the sources of almost any Linux distribution you can imagine. So, in my case, I didn't download the newest version of Ardour. I use the one provided in Ubuntu Studio and this is totally free. But in this case, I don't have 7.2, but 6.9. And so, this is how Ubuntu Studio looks. It's a KDE Plasma desktop. I made a few changes because I'm so accustomed to GNOME desktop. So I have a panel here at the bottom and a panel at the top. The first thing we have to do is to start a sound server. And for music production, we need Jack. You don't need Jack if you just uh, 
want to play videos on YouTube, but if you want to record audio files like waves and you want to work with MIDI and you want to mix that, then Jack is the best solution. First thing you have to do is to start Jack. The application is called QCheck CTL and CTL means control because here you can control all audio signals, all inputs and all outputs. You get this window and here you can start Jack. I have already done this and now Jack is running. The very interesting thing about Jack is here the graph. Let's open the graph. You see all the inputs available, you see all the outputs available, and you can connect and disconnect them. You see here is system, and here we have capture. This is the input of my USB audio interface. It's an AIR 192.6. And here I have capture 1. This is the microphone input 1. And here we have capture 2. This is the microphone input 2 of my audio interface. And now I can connect this capture 1, the microphone input, to a client. You see, nothing else is connected yet. If we start Ardour, uh, there is much more to see here. But here you see this one connection, and this is check input client. And this is because I record now in OBS. So this is the input of OBS. My microphone of my USB audio interface is connected to OBS. If I would not record this video now, I would not need here this jack input client in OBS. On the other side, you see the system outputs, they are called playback 1 and playback 2, and this is also the USB audio interface. Here is the check master Ardour. This is the input for audio signals uh, from my system, from the computer. Let's start Ardour now. There are some uh, recent sessions here, but today I want to start a new session which is empty. So click New Session and here you can choose Empty Template, Advanced Session or Recording Session. And the same, I want to open an empty template so that you see how order looks with nothing activated. We type a session name, let's call it um, Test Order. Now we can open this empty template file. And here you see it's scanning the plugins, the LV2 plugins. They are also pre-installed in Ubuntu Studio. In other distributions you have to install a little later. So this is how Ardua looks. In default it uh, looks like this without the added mixer but I think it's absolutely necessary to show the editor mixer. I want to see what I'm doing. Here you see one channel, this is the master channel. And here you see a fader and a meter, and here is left right panning. At the top you see the inputs, there is a grid, and here you can tell Ardua which Outputs should be connected to the input of the master. Now, nothing is connected because we have no other channels here. So let's go to the bottom and here you see another grid. And here you can tell Ardour what outputs the master should use. And here you see the master route left is connected with playback 1 and the master out right is connected to playback 2. This is the connection. So let's go to graph again to see what that means. Take that here. 
So, you see, something changed since we started Ardour. There is Capture 1 and Capture 2 connected to Ardour inputs. And here we have um, outputs, for example, the master audio out and the master audio 2 connected to playback 1 and playback 2 of our system. Let's go back to Ardour now and let's create a channel. We want to create a new track now. Right click and here we can choose if we want audio tracks, MIDI tracks, audio buses, MIDI buses, VCA masters or foldback buses. For now we want to record audio and so we need an audio track. We want one audio track, but we also can create two, three, five audio tracks, just as we like. We call it audio. Now it should be mono. We also can choose stereo or three, four channel, five channel. But this is a little bit more complicated. I think I will do that in another video. So we don't need a group now at the moment because we only have one track and here we can add and close this window. Now there is a new track here. This is audio one. And now it's the same. We first choose what input we will use. And we go to the grid. And here we have system capture one. This means we record with our microphone input of my USB audio interface. If I would like uh, Capture 2 as the second microphone input of my USB audio interface, I have to check that. And if I want to record with both microphone channels, I would do that. But for now, I need only one input and this is it. So let's close this again. This is good. And now the output, and here we also look to the routing grid. We go to Ardua buses, and here we see, uh, since we have not activated other buses, audio one out is connected to the left master in, and audio one out right is connected to master in right. This is what we want to have. So we could directly connect it to playback 1 or playback 2, but we don't want to do that because we all want to mix all audio and MIDI tracks to master and the master will be connected to playback 1 and playback 2. And now we are ready to record. Let's do that. So we have to activate the recording button. This is the red one here. And as you can see here on the meter, the signal of the microphone is coming through. And here we see there is a little bit distortion here. So I would lower down this a little bit. And here you see we have also a signal at the master. So uh, let's try to record something now. We also have to activate it here. And now press play. So this is the first recording here in Ardour. And you see there is a wave. And yes, I think it works. Let's stop it. And now let's go back to the beginning. And here you see the wave we just recorded. And here we had some distortion. This red color here shows me that there is some distortion. But this is not so important now because this is only a test. So now we want to hear what we have recorded. If I just click on play, I would hear it, but you won't hear it. So I have to connect that 
in the graph with OBS. So this is the master audio out. And now I connect it to check master audio and the master audio out too to check master audio. So now if I start what I just recorded will also go to OBS. Let's close this again. And let's see if that works. So this is the first recording here in Ardour. And you see there is a wave. And yes, I think it works. Let's stop it. Well, this is the first recording we made here in Ardour. The next video I will show you how to edit uh, the audio track and how to use plugins. For example, here I can add new plugins. New plugin, plugin selector. We don't scan VST plugins now, no. And now I can um, add a plugin. For example, a free band EQ have to add it, plugins to be connected, and now insert plugins. And here it is. It's a very simple EQ. It's not meant for professional use, but to show how it works, it's uh, good enough. So here you have lows, highs, and mids. And you also can choose what frequency you want to edit. And here we have the freeband EQ, and it should be before the fader and not after the fader. So if you are interested in more content about music production and about Linux, please be sure to subscribe and like my video. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.